In the early years of World War II, the German Air Force developed a tactic to sink ships by scoring hits on their broadsides. This tactic was later called the Swedish turnip method. With the help of this tactic, the Luftwaffe was able to destroy a remarkable number of ships given the limited number of sorties they flew. When World War II broke out in 1939, the German Air Force was mainly a tactical force focused on operations on land. The anti-shipping units consisted of seven groups equipped with float and seaplanes with very limited offensive potential. It seemed that the war in the Atlantic was to be carried out by the U-boat Waffe, so the German submarines exclusively. However, the fall of France in 1940 gave the Luftwaffe the opportunity to use airfields in the Bay of Biscay with a direct access to the Atlantic Ocean. This led to the creation of the 10th Fliegerkorps or Air Corps, whose task was to attack the merchant traffic around the British Isles and to basically act as spotters for the U-boats. Major Martin Harlinghausen was appointed Chief of Staff of the 10th Air Corps, carrying out both operational and administrative duties. During World War II, Harlinghausen was the Luftwaffe's leading expert of anti-ship warfare. Born in 1902, Harlinghausen joined the Reichsmarine or the Weimar Navy. In 1931, he transitioned from sailor to pilot. In 1933, Harlinghausen joined the Luftwaffe and in 1936 he was selected to command an anti-shipping unit in the Condor Legion and served in the Spanish Civil War. During his offensive missions he managed to sink over 100,000 gross registered tons of Allied shipping. In March of 1941 he was appointed to coordinate all maritime operations in the Atlantic Ocean. He was the man responsible for inventing and implementing the so-called Swedish turnip method. Essentially, it was a form of skip bombing. It involved flying at low level, normally 45 meters, at speeds around 300 km per hour. Bombs were dropped at around 240 meters from the target and set with an 8 second delay, so to allow the aircraft to fly past and to bomb to sink in the water and explode near the hull of the targeted vessel. The mighty Condors often used this tactic before 1942 when more accurate bomb sites became available, but theoretically the attic method could be used by any German level bomber provided the pilot was properly trained. The most successful implementation of the method occurred on the 2nd of December 1943. The tactic was employed by the majority of the Junkers Ju-88 bombers during the devastating attack on Bari, Italy. Altogether, 105 German Junkers Ju-88 bombers of Luftflotte II or Erflit II achieved surprise and bomb shipping and personnel operating in support of the Allied Italian campaign, sinking 27 cargo and transport ships in the Bari Harbor. The Junkers Ju-88s could have died bombed at the Bari. They could also have attacked using torpedoes. But instead they chose to skip bomb. 
and the results were absolutely devastating. The German bombers attacked Bari without fighter escort. They apparently suffered no battle losses at all. The low attack altitude allowed them to bomb and be gunned before anyone had time to man anti-aircraft guns and launch fighter aircraft. The raid lasted a little more than an hour and put the port out of action until February of 1944. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.